you know, for perfectionists, the holidays can be a stressful time of year. That desire for everything to be perfect can trigger some unhealthy behaviors such as extreme dieting or on the other hand, binge eating. Dr. Simon Sherry of Dalhousie University is leading research by the Department of Psychology's personality research team to explore the connection between perfectionism and what is called disordered eating. And he joins us this morning to talk about this. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. Glad to be here. When we talk about disordered eating, I guess it's, it's important to make the distinction. This isn't just like you overstuffed yourself at Christmas dinner. This is something else. Binge eating disorder yeah. is a distinct problem. It involves eating a very large amount of food in a very short period of time. And it's often accompanied by a feeling of being out of control. Hmm. It's very distressing to the individual. After the binge, there tends to be a feeling of guilt or shame. And during the binge, you'll eat until you're physically uncomfortable. Ill. Absolutely. Yeah. So then how does perfectionism tie into something like binge eating? First of all, we should define perfectionism. Mm. These are individuals who have a compulsive need to be perfect. They're intensely self-critical, highly intolerant of any sort of mistake, and are often very self-doubting. And accompanying perfectionism, there's often a sense that other people around you need you to be perfect. Mm. In our research program, we found there are three main ways that perfectionists end up binge eating. It's almost as if perfectionism sets you up to binge eat. Oh, okay. Perfectionists often struggle in relationships. And when you can't play nicely with other people, oftentimes you have to turn to food for support mm. instead of other people for right. support. Mm. Food can be a way of comforting and soothing yourself. Along the same lines, we find that perfectionists have a lot of negative emotions on a day-to-day -day basis, and they may very well turn to food in order to reduce or to try and regulate those negative emotions. Mm. Feelings like sadness or anxiety can often be quieted, at least for a while, by food. The final thing we see is that perfectionists often make a lot of extreme attempts at dietary restraint. Mm. They will undereat, they will skip meals, and when you're undereating, when you're skipping meals, it sets conditions where binge eating is likely. Your body doesn't want to be in a state of self-starvation and will tend to compensate by binging. So the holidays can make this worse. Is that because there's just more stress on the person to be perfect? Certainly perfectionists experience intense pressure throughout the year, but that may be especially the case during the holiday season where there is an expectation that you perform and where perfectionists may be interested in demonstrating that they have the perfect household. So then how can someone, I guess, uh, maybe like a friend or a family member recognize that what somebody is doing is maybe perhaps binge eating and how can they help? I think it's important to encourage an individual to seek help from a trained professional like a psychologist or a psychiatrist. I think the individual, him or herself, can also do a lot over the holidays. Something like self-monitoring has been shown to be helpful over a high-risk situation like the holiday period. And by self-monitoring, I mean very carefully writing down all that you eat and all that you drink. And having that within your field of awareness seems to help people not so much lose weight over the holidays, but maintain their current weight, right. which would look a lot like success because most of us put on one or two pounds over yeah, the holidays. Exactly, exactly. But there is a point where some of these eating habits become unhealthy, and that's what you're concerned with with the personality research team. Thank you so much for coming in. I was glad to be here. And talking Thank about you. this. We'll put a link to Dr. Sherry's personality research team on our website so you can find out more information about what they're doing there at Dalhousie University. We have more CTV Morning Live coming up in just a few minutes, so stay with us. 7.49 is the time right now.